The DNA, the genetic template of a species, is surely a closely guarded and well-kept secret, especially for such great and fallen empires as there may be across the galaxy. Right? Well, in this video, we're going to plan a heist, you son of a bitch, I'm in, and attempt to steal the species templates of very, very powerful species. Let's dive in and find out what's going on. In order to pull off this daring heist, you're going to need to have taken the engineered evolution ascension perk. So basically, you must have started the biological ascension path. That's going to allow you to build clone vats on your planets, which will add monthly organic pop assembly. Now, if we go to our population tab and we click on the assembly, we can actually choose which type of species we're going to be assembling in our vats. And that means if we're very crafty, we can actually be producing species we shouldn't otherwise be able to get our hands on. Enter the Species tab. Here we get a rundown of all of the species in our empire, or if we toggle, all of the species in the galaxy. You should really think of this tab as something of a grocery store, a supermarket. These are the shelves offering a variety of products. For instance, Tomb World Preference, Cybernetic, Psionic, Nerve Staple. There are a whole host of traits I'm desperate to get my hands on, but I would otherwise be unable to touch them without what I'm about to do now. Simply select the species you'd like to clone, modify the template, then it's as easy as simply changing the name. As long as you've got enough trait points, and you should do if you've taken that first biological ascension path, because we should have one gene modification point from gene tailoring, and three more from the engineered evolution for a total of four, and that means as soon as I click create template, well, something interesting has happened. We've created a template, but I would have to scro scroll all the way down to find it. Or alternatively, if I toggle back to my empire species, You'll now see I have the option of one of these pops that we've lovingly created. This is a genuine human work, 100% homegrown, definitely not stolen. And if we go to our cloning vat, I'm simply able to start building it straight away. So I can get a nerve staple pop before I have access to the technology to get the trait nerve staple. And if you're enjoying this video, please steal that like button but it doesn't have to end there. I might also want to have psionic pops in my empire instead. And I could do that here quite simply by modifying one of the fallen empire species because they are the best species we're going to find. Fallen empire, specifically the fanatic spiritualist fallen empires tend to have psionic pops. Whereas the fanatic materialist fallen empires tend to have pops with a cybernetic trait. That means as a biologically ascending empire, I don't even have to be very far in the ascension. As long as I can find some other species in the galaxy with the traits I'd like to have, I can assemble those pops on my planets. And there we have it. I've managed to, through a daring act of theft, steal the genetic template to a fallen empire species with both the cybernetic trait and a bunch of other lovely traits, and then biologically clone it and put it on my planet. I can then also, if I feel like it, change the primary species growing into this fallen empire pop as well. And then we're going to be able to get away with fantastic growth of these stolen pops. And because these pops have traits like psionic and cyborg, that means I'm going to be able to get leaders of these traits, meaning I can get the special and beautiful associated bonuses for being psionic or cybernetic. But biological ascended empires are not the only empires that can take advantage of this. But what do you think about pop template theft? Let me know down in the comments below. As a machine intelligence empire, you might want to get your hands on some pops of the robotic trait or possibly synthetic pops, because those pops come with much better governor bonuses. Just like with biological ascension, you're going to want to go through the grocery store and find the pop you need. In this case here, I found some synthetically ascended pops. I've then obviously created a template and I've just simply renamed them. You will find you have no trait points available for them. So it'll be like the start of the game. If you want to get something nice, you'll have to take some negatives in order to get the positives. Then simply create your template, go back to your regular empire view, go to your assembling and choose the pops you'd like to assemble, this time with the lovely mechanical trait. So there you have it. That's how we can steal species templates in Stellaris. I'd like to say a big thank you to the user Decent Chance of Lousy that pointed out this was possible on the r slash Stellaris page. 
So go out there, have fun, and let the great pop heist begin. If you enjoyed stealing species templates, you might also like to build ships for free. If you'd like to know more about how to build these ships for free, click the video on screen now.